Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here once again. And there's something out on my porch. A package. Let's see what it is. It looks like it's got some size to it. There's actually a story behind this package, which as soon as I've gotten it into the house, I will try to tell all of you so that you can know what's going on and maybe even participate should you so desire. So let me get this thing upstairs and thanks to the magic of video editing I'll be back in two shakes. Alrighty, now that this thing's inside how's about an explanation? Around the time this video is being recorded, that is to say February 1st 2012, fellow YouTuber Semtex Video, let's see here through the magic of technology if I can go ahead and Hey, there we go. Look at that. Boy, the next thing we might get around here is a video toaster, and wouldn't that be uptown? But there's his username if you want to look him up on YouTube. He started running contests a couple of weeks ago, and they continue up through the present. Well, I won something from one of those contests, as hard as that is to believe, because believe me, I'm the kind of person who never wins anything except every once in a blue moon. And what's even more amazing is that I won this before the contests were even officially organized. You see, he was working on an inexpensive stereo system for someone he knows, or a friend of his, or something like that. I don't really recall the story, because, like I say, it's been a few weeks ago and I slept since then. And I'd rather say I don't know than get it wrong in some important area. Nevertheless, he was working on this stereo system, and somehow or another the question of the amplifier's power output came up. Now keep in mind, this is an inexpensive stereo. I took a wild guess. I said 3 watts. Well, later, when the speaker system showed up, I was proven right. And as such, I was declared the unofficial winner of a contest. That left only a prize to win, and that's where fellow YouTuber Weasel2HTM, who unfortunately I don't have programmed into the titler, but I've mentioned him enough times that I'm sure you can find him on YouTube if that's the thing you'd like to do, he suggested that I ask for a Sansui 5000X stereo receiver that was providing entertainment to the patrons of a certain laundromat in Texas. And so here we are, several weeks later, current time, and that's what I got delivered to me today by the UPS man. So let's take this thing open and have a look at it. It's a beast. This box weighs 35 pounds. Always ask for your genuine deluxe General Motors box opener for, by name. Bet you didn't know most GM vehicles ship with that option. So let's go ahead and open up the packing tape here. I don't ordinarily do unboxing videos, but this this is a special circumstance. Let me just go ahead and get everything opened up here. And then we can have a look at this thing. Wow, look at all those packy peanuts. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn the ceiling fan off. Because otherwise those are going to do nothing but cause problems. They are nowhere near as compatible with ceiling fans as Canon FS200 video cameras are. So now that, that thing's winding down, and I'm trying to foof these things all over my bed, which I'm doing an admirable job of. Go ahead and get these things out of here and see what the beast looks like. The beast emerges from hibernation. There it is, completely unboxed in all of its glory. I believe this is around a 50 watt per channel set. I may be mistaken on that. I'm sure if I am, somebody will put me right here in a moment. It's a nice looking set. Could use a good cleaning and a little bit of love for the cabinet, but other than that, it's got some real potential. Maybe a recapping down the road in the future, because it's certainly been running on its original capacitors for a good long time. It does work, and as I may have stated previously, it was entertaining the patrons at a laundromat in Texas. So, should be able to get it hooked up here. I'll have to kick the, uh, the Technics out of place over there. It might get mad at me. But I think this will be an interesting comparison. Actually, there, there won't be any comparison at all. There's no doubt in my mind this thing's got it all over the Technics in terms of power. Oh, let's have a look at the back panel here. See what's going on around the back side of the beast. Over there we have our inputs for various things, two tape connections, 
a DIN style tape connection that probably won't see a whole lot of use here in the United States. FM MPX or multiplex stereo separation between channels. Not sure what the level adjust is for. There's a ground, set of turntables, and an auxiliary input, and an FCC compliance notification. A heat sink with a legend on it explaining how to connect the speaker systems. This thing supports three speaker systems, though only two of those may be active at any particular moment in time. There's an AM loop antenna, and a power cord right here that has been tucked into the heat sink. Power cord's old, but it looks to be in good shape. So let's do what everything, everybody's wanting to do and go ahead and give this thing a try. Before I do, I'll go ahead and point out the AM and FM external antenna connections and I will also point out the uh, pre-amplifier and main input set of jumpers. These could be used if you had a speaker system, for example, that required some kind of equalization and you wanted to insert an equalizer between the receiver's pre-amplifier, volume control, and main output. It could also be used if for some reason you didn't want to use this particular power amplifier or you wanted to feed even another power amplifier for some reason with this thing's pre-amplified signals. So let's go ahead, put that thing over there and give it a try. Here it is, all in place and ready to go. So let's go ahead and have the first power up right here. I have no idea, I have no idea what'll happen. Oh, there we go. Got some dial lights going on. Signal strength indicator and centered tuning indicator. AM and FM broadcast bands. It's a little bit dim there over toward the end, so I suppose that's the uh, light bulbs that were burned out that are being talked about. A row of buttons that are unlabeled. I don't think those are station presets. Maybe they're supposed to have lights behind them or something, or maybe, maybe there was print on those once upon a time that wore off. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure everything's in a sane position here. FM auto, volume down, bass and treble centered, balance centered. Let's go ahead and turn the speakers on. Oh, I hear some static. So let's just go ahead and see what's on the what's on the FM broadcast band here. That's pretty weak. They used to do that, and now they do this. And I used to be able to do this, and now I can't do that. Those are some that uh, I limited in last year. And of course, the incident in Japan caused Japan to have a a uh, a, a, a deficit. Or my edition. Classes are available on campus. <laughs> I know, I guess it's right. Let's yeah. tease. Put him in top five right now, just based on the Super Bowl wins that he had. She's had a million surgeries, but seems to be laughing all the way with it. Coming up. to win must be 18 to play play responsibly the illinois lottery household appliances, dishes, and other household items. From us, uh, we also have online for you some additional research. Trust your heart to the program that's committed. girl, we do something quick.
So there's a demonstration of the FM band. Go ahead and kick things over to, uh, whoops, that's phono. Put it on AM there, that would probably work better. And unfortunately there's a lot of uh, noise in this house, interference, but should be able to pick something up off the built-in antenna. There's some noise. One kind of fun function that this set is equipped with is a microphone input for your very own high-powered karaoke night instead of some of those uh, no-fi small karaoke machines that you can find at Walmarts and Radio Shacks and places like that. I'd better be careful in setting my levels here because if I have guessed improperly, I'd be using a microphone to microwave a set of speakers by way of a Sansui amplifier. So. And the microphone right here. Let's go ahead and turn this on. See what happens. Well, no feedback just yet. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Hello there, everyone on YouTube. This is UXW Bill, and I am messing around with a Sansui 5000X stereo receiver and its microphone input. Boy, this is a lot of fun. This is probably more fun than I am legally allowed to have. So go ahead and turn the microphone off now and demonstrate something else. Now at this point you might be asking yourself, Self, what do I need to do in order to win some very cool stuff from the Sentex video channel? Well the very first thing that you need to do is you need to go to that channel and subscribe right now because almost all of his contests have required that you be a subscriber for a minimum period of time before you are eligible to win. So I hope to see you there and good luck! <laughs> 